Hi, back again. Uh, Tuesday. No, yesterday. That was yesterday, wasn't it? Tuesday. Um, I took this photograph. It's of the River Wandel, which I've painted, as you know, lots and lots of times. I hope you can see that. It's not too badly reflecting. I can't see what you're looking at, really. Um, this is a bit of the River Wandel in. Uh, Oh, near Ravensbury Park, it, it, it's called the Watermead. It, um, it's been prohibited for public use for years. It was owned by the National Trust apparently, and, but um, the lottery have given the Wandle Trust loads of money to spend on improvements for cyclists and pedestrians. And, and they've opened this area up, and we used to just ride by it, and we didn't know this existed. And it's really beautiful. They put in lovely wooden bridges, uh, solid paths that we can cycle and walk on. Absolutely glorious. So I've, this is an exercise in simplification, really. So I'm going to do a version of it. I'm not going to copy it. I, I never copy. Well, I try not to copy it. I try to do my own thing with what is there and, and bring some sort of idealism into the painting. So what we basically got is a, is a light just coming through this central area here. So we'll see how we get on. It might end up a load of mud, but uh, I'll, I'll start using the two inch hake. It's not quite two inches. And my palette is in the stay wet bag. Well, it's not stay wet, is it? It is a Ziploc bag. Keeps the, the palette lovely and moist. And you can probably see it shining with the water that I sprayed on it. And it's lovely working with soft paint rather than scrubbing away. So my palette, as you know, is lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey and burnt sienna. And uh, I'll start by wetting the paper all over with not so clean water. I'm uploading a mountain scene, like a Scottish Highland type of scene at the moment, which I did about an hour ago. Just an impression, based on a previous painting I'd done. Back to the pure watercolour for a little while, until I get bored with it and I want to change. So there we are. I could change, I could use another hake, see if I can. That one's splitting so much. Well, let's uh, see if this one behaves a bit better. Right, okay. So, a bit of, bit of burnt sienna, just to warm the whole painting up. Uh, raw sienna, should I say. But just, a, just a blush. But I, I want to keep the area of light in the middle. But it was a very bright day yesterday morning before the rain came and changed everything. So a bit of blue. Bring that through. Quite a high horizon I'm trying to show the river going going way back, uh, with no clouds. Right, okay, that, that, that will sort of do, just put some more blue across, across the top here. And it's nice and blue through there, because that's where we've got the lovely blue sky. Right, okay, we clip the paper as it expands. Keeps it nice and flat. All right, okay. So there we have it. We've got a, a warm background with the blue overlaid on it. So now we want to put in some some dark. So I'll use blue and uh, and red. Brush fairly dry for this. 
bit of plain grey, I think. So this will just be the the shadow the shadow trees in the background. Bit of yellow, yellow in there. And it's all nice and dark coming across. I'll just get the ones. You see, nothing's right or perfect, is it? This one's losing its hairs, a bit like me, really. So, all nice and dark shadows in here. But leave plenty of scope for putting some brighter colours in. So, just leave it quite open. Okay, uh, we'll drag the reflections down. It's like a yellowy, greeny colour. And that's quite dark in there now, that reflection. So that is coming across there yeah, like that, that's the reflection. That's that side now, but it's just got a lot of, lot of lovely green. Leaving as much air as possible. And it just comes down here into that area there. And I'll put some darker greens in there in the, the shadows. I won't put the bits of bridge here, I won't put that. My mate Keith hanging over, just admiring the view that we had never seen before. The Shilla River has been very heavily abused over the years, especially in the last century. Now I need a bit more darker stuff in there. Right, that's where I want the light. Now we'll put in some, some dark shadow, greeny, nice shadow here. And I can go back over that and strengthen as and when. Add some trees, some trunks, and things. Right now, I want to put in this foreground. So I'm going to take my brush, get lots of pinpricks on it. We'll dip in the water first. Put some water on the palette, and get in with this lemon yellow. And then we'll. A bit of stipple. So I want to show the, uh, the the ferns all green now.
and then we've got some bluey paints grey greens so just for the shadow areas this will help the uh, the lighter greens yellows to show by the sort of negative shapes that the darker shadowy bits make. Right, so we've got some heavier stuff in there, so let's, let's just get... Right, let's just get in some darker shadow now in the right hand trees. I'm using the negative shape there to highlight these lighter leaves. There's a great brush for stippling, isn't it? Vary the direction of your brush, otherwise it will look a bit mechanical. So we've got some nice yellow coming down there. Darker greens, the paint's grey, a bit of blue in it. Right, so some darker greens in this side. I want these warmer here, so I'm going to mix some burnt sienna with the stipple here.
Yeah, I'll show that. Breaking up that fl those flat washers. Okay, now we've got to put some meat on the bones now. <coughs> uh, clean my brush. I'm going to do some uh, some dark work with the ache. Just getting the, these uh, trees. Um, I'll just excuse me, but I just look at the uh, photograph. Lots of twiggies. Tricky things. Can't see any low down. But I'll just add, add some here. Just. So a bit of refraction there. What I've done is what I try to avoid is to repeat myself here and there. So I'm going to, have to change that one. And then we'll do some over here. We've got um, the water comes down through there, but I need to just put in some more shadow. That obviously, you see the, 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 the non-reflective bit is darker than the bit below, so let's just enhance that air. There's a lot of colour in this, it doesn't really look it, but there is. Right, now we'll uh, put a bit of detail in these ferns. But totally unrealistic, they'll be white, white, greedy white stalks. Now 
Now let's get some warm dark. So my warm dark is a bit burnt sienna with some paint grey. Just lift out some of this. Ah, does that make sense or, or what? I think I'm struggling here. So you've got the dark reflection here, but maybe, maybe I'll. Darken that even more. So that'll be the bank. Mm, that's not bad. I think I'll probably repeat myself, I don't use a lot of uh, paint grey with the yellow to make oh. my greens. I sort of warm them up with a bit of raw burnt sienna. But uh, this sort of works, it's quite, quite good. And uh, let's. Uh, uh, I don't think it's that good, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like in a mountain. Right? I'll sign it, and we'll have a look. See what it looks like. Have a look. It's only an impression from that photograph. I can't paint it really. It's trying to do something that put the, you put it all in, but without any detail. If that makes sense, or well, just a minimum of detail. So uh, I think it's quite accurate. The, uh, the negative shape of the reflection is not that good because it doesn't really highlight all these. Now, if let's, let's see if we can just add a bit darker, darker green. With the paint's grey and, and the lemon yellow. I don't think I can do much more to it than that. Let's uh, have a look at what it's like on the screen. I don't know if it's on the screen. Yeah, that looks alright actually. So the thing is, people often ask me if these are for sale, and of course they are. But you really need to see them because they, they look totally different online. They look the light is different; it's better. But. Uh, but there's a going who's to say. 
Right, okay, let's uh, see if I can get the camera better there. Let's just come out to start with. Well, it looks what it is now, doesn't it? So, uh, maybe I'm being too super critical, but I'm close up to the painting. This is a photograph on a computer with all the light. So, that's my water and my trees. Just indicated, probably overdone a little bit. But, oh, there's my distance. So, coming across here, I brought the shadow in which is darker than the reflection. The reflection comes down more, but it's a great way of painting trees with stipple, but you, of course, like with all these things, you can overdo it. All right, let's come out again. I quite like that on the screen. I think that looks okay. But I was trying to find a, an ideal angle for the camera close up is is sort of beyond me. No, as I move the camera it goes a bit squiff. Anyway, there you are. The River Wandle, unseen for many years by the majority of walkers and cyclists. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.